Hundreds of Hezbollah supporters turned out Wednesday for the funeral of a fighter killed in an Israeli airstrike. Since the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war in October, Hezbollah and Israeli forces have engaged in near-daily clashes. Israel bombarded southern Lebanon to force Hezbollah to evacuate 30 kilometers north and create a buffer zone. Instead, Hezbollah fired about 30 rockets into northern Israel. Israel warned that the situation in the region may escalate further. The situation on Israel's northern border demands a change. The timer for a diplomatic solution is running out. If the world and the Lebanese government will not stop the firing on northern settlements and move Hezbollah away from the border, the Israeli army will. Israel faces tensions with more than just Hezbollah in its north, especially after the death of a high-ranking Iranian officer near Damascus on Monday. His funeral was attended by thousands in Tehran Thursday. Iran accused Israel of being responsible for the attack in Syria and promised revenge. It's certain that these acts of retaliation will continue at different times and in different places. The Zionists will never be safe from vengeance. Iran said these actions will be carried out by the Axis of Resistance, a term for Iran-allied groups in the region. These include the Syrian government, Hezbollah in Lebanon, Iraqi militant groups, and Yemeni rebels.